What's up everybody, this is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Today I have Jeremy here, and he's from Toronto Whiskey Society, so I'm gonna have him introduce himself and talk a little bit about Toronto Whiskey Society. Uh, yeah, my name's Jeremy. Um, joined Whiskey Society oh, about five or six months ago. Um, it's, a, it's a great group here in Toronto. Uh, it was started by about 12 guys who kind of just found each other on Reddit. Um, doing reviews, talking about whiskey in those forums, and uh, they just all met up and uh, they wanted to start their own site. And between them, they had about 2,500 uh, reviews. Wow. Um, so they kind of wanted to put that together on a site, so they started uh, Toronto Whiskey Society.ca and it got some good feedback and uh, they decided to branch out and look for new members. Um, and since like early last year, that's grown to about 30 members, give or take, and uh, a wait list of about 50 or so looking to uh, looking to join. Yeah, so like you can't just go on their website and join. There's a wait list, like Jeremy said. Um, I've inquired about actually joining myself, just haven't gotten around to it. Um, but I do use that website for a lot of the reviews that are on there as another, you know. If you guys are watching my channel, there's a good chance that you watch all the other YouTube channels that are out there. You read up on whiskey because generally we're out here all trying to find out what we're going to like before we buy it so that we don't waste our money on things that we won't like. Um, Jeremy bought, uh, brought us a treat today. I know a lot of people have been waiting for me to do some peated whiskeys. Uh, I'm guilty of not sure. buying the most amount of peated whiskeys, but I've been dying to try these ones. Okay, so. Do you want to yeah so these? these have been sitting out for a bit um, you know the rule a minute in the glass for every year in the cask yeah that's yeah a, I, hate that's a, rule. <laughs> I hate that rule Just, a Ralphie rule right I hate there. that rule because it doesn't apply to a lot of whiskeys especially if they're cast strength especially if they're peated and very especially if you're just opening a bottle for the first time so we've let these sit for about half an hour which is about what they need now since most bottles are halfway full or a little bit uh, a little bit more than that so yeah, uh, Octomore, um, 6.1, 6.3, 7.1, and 7.3. So the point ones are the um, Scottish Barley, and the point threes are the Isla Barley. So we'll start with 6.1. Awesome. And um, just to clarify, these are all five years old, right? They are They are all age statement, they're all five years old, yes. Yeah, they're all five years old. Um, before we get into nosing, the 6.1 was available recently at the LCBO, right? Is it still so, like I've actually, that bottle is from the LCBO. I okay. bought it, I want to say a year and a half ago, maybe. So yeah, this, and I think right now the LCBO has the 7.1 7 currently available. Yeah, okay. So it's the two black bottles. So the point ones are the black bottles and the point threes are the clear bottles here. Um, just so, you know, Jeremy's bought these bottles, um, so you guys get a, an idea of what they go for. The at the LCBO, I think it's two hundred and forty or two hundred. I think for the seven point one, the LCBO has it for about two twenty now. Oh, okay, two twenty. Yeah. So that's actually not that bad. But um, what what do we pick up these in Alberta for ish? I paid uh, one seventy shipped uh, one. 85 shipped something like that okay so um, a lot cheaper um, I believe the 6.1 was a little bit more expensive than the 7.1 wasn't it I think now the 6.1 since it's a bit older is a little bit more expensive yeah okay yeah. so either way um, if we lived in Alberta we'd be able to buy these a lot cheaper than what we actually buy them from Alberta for just because That's the thing about Ontario. yeah <laughs> um, but Anyway, we should get to the whiskey because that's why we're here. I'm I'm already getting all kinds of peat, uh, just waving this glass around. It's beautifully smelling. These eight glasses have pumped out like a chimney snack of peat. Yeah, they're just like in the air right now. I leaned over to put this um, bottle of Macallan 17 year old on the table because we just opened it up, and I got punched in the face with like smoke. Like, I literally put my head in a chimney. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, these are all, they list the PPM levels um, on the bottle. 
so the parts per million feed on content. Um, this one is 167 parts per million. 167. Which at the time of bottling, I think was the highest ever. At the, uh, the 6.1? Yeah. And then um, Octomore has since broken their own record, but I think that's the highest, highest peated whiskey of all time. Don't quote me. But, and I think you mentioned, before we turned on the camera, uh, we were talking peated whiskey, and it's heavily peated, but it's not overwhelmingly peated on the nose, in my opinion. Like, I find that you put your nose in a Laphroaig quarter cask or a Ardbeg 10 year old, and you're getting more peat on the nose than you are here, in my opinion. I don't know, I could be. That's, uh, that's how I think as well. I think that the PPM level, there's a point where you go to a diminishing return, and then it's not as heavily peated as you might think. Um, but you get a lot of other things as well. Yeah. Like, if I had to compare this to anything, I haven't tasted it yet. On the nose alone, and I, I, I probably could sit here and nose this forever because it's amazing, but. Yeah. It, it smells a lot like um, Amaru Fusion, but Amaru, but kicked up like 10 notches on the peat. Okay, so you, pay, you pick up a very minimal amount of peat on the Amaru, whereas it, this has all the same nose as the Amaru, but just jacked up with peat. But it's uh, super nice. I don't know. Yeah, so I get a lot of like cured meats on the nose here. Um, salami, for sure. Um, there's vanilla. Yeah. There's that big peat smoke, but it's not it's not crushing you. And uh, pepper. Mm -hmm. it, what's the percentage of this again? So these are all cast strength. Um, this one is bottled at 57%. 57, yeah. Yeah, you don't get that on the nose, in my opinion. No, you being can, uh, five years old, fifty-seven yeah. percent. You would think this is gonna rip your nose hairs out, but no, I don't get that at all. You can wade through all of the different nuances without having to worry about that like stinging nose sensation that you would get from something overly alcoholic. Yeah, like, there's just layers and layers of flavor here. Like it just, you can spend all day with this if you want. Yeah, yeah. I every time I bring it to my nose I smell something different. Yeah, and that's uh that's something that I get as well. You get a little something uh, different each time. There is something I find fruity about this as well though. Absolutely. I'm not I can't pinpoint what it is. It's like I said, I, I don't know why I'm getting I feel like it's very comparable to the Amaro just let like with more peat. I don't know have you tried the fusion? Uh, I have tried the fusion, and I don't remember it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna go in for a taste over here. Yeah. Um, I get smoked ribs um, on the palate, big time. Um, lemon as well. Super sweet. I didn't expect that. And it just it punches you like that's mm -hmm. it's hot. It's like it's, it's not, not yeah. It, it's it not could, overly hot, but uh, it's it's not to the point where I don't feel like I need to add water. But you do get heat. Like it, my tongue is feeling it on the sides a little bit. Sure. You get that pepperiness. Pepperiness. That's probably not a word. Pepperiness. That's a word. Sure. Let's go with that. Just really good. Just. It's bold. It's 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 heavy. It's uh, it's in your face. It's everything you want a peated whiskey to be. Man, honestly, I was skeptical because people rave about Octomore. They absolutely go crazy for it. And I was thinking crazy high peat level, super young whiskey. How can that be as good as everybody says it is? And so far, I'm blown away. So. I can imagine, I, like, everybody has their difference of opinion, and a lot of people say some are better than others, but. Yeah, the finish just lasts forever. It's yeah. just, it's you constantly. Lemon, like, like you were, I think you said lemon earlier? Yeah. Yeah, the two, I think the two big takeaways from the palate for me is that, that smokiness, that smoky barbecue, yep. that barbecued meat, and uh, that citrus, that citrus lemon. Yeah. 
And I do get that. I get some vanilla as well. I'm getting vanilla every once in a while. Yeah. And uh, some hickory on the finish. Hickory sticks. Man, this is really good. I almost feel bad that we're trying four of these in one night because... This could be its own video. Yeah. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Each one of these should be their own video. It's just... I'll have to buy them and, and uh, do them. Well, I will be doing one of these with the Scotch Test Dummies on the 12 Hours of Boom, so there's a plug for those guys. All right, one more sec. And that's basically because I don't want to put this down. I'm shocked at how sweet it is. Right? Yeah. And they don't really get into what type of cast they use to mature this in. Um, it's anyone's guess, I, I don't know. So they kept, I guess, uh, Brook Laddie is pretty secretive with their stuff. Even with the black art, they don't want to tell you what's what it's you know what it's aged in or whatever. Yeah. I, there's probably a, a few different barrels, maybe. This one, I would say, mostly bourbon barrel. Ex bourbon, probably, and then I've heard rumors of maybe some wine finishes in some of these, but I can't really speculate. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised because of how sweet it is that it maybe like some sort of French wine or Madeira. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised by that at all. So this one is a lot different on the nose. This yeah. is the 6.3, uh, bottled at 64%, so quite a significant uh, higher uh, alcohol by volume. 64%? 64 for this one. Oh. And the PPM level for this one is 258 parts per million. Wow. So I think this is the heaviest peated whiskey of all time. I think the Freud, or, um, Octomore outdid themselves with this one as far as... And what's crazy is the, the, the 6.1 actually smells more peated than this one, in my opinion. I don't know. I could be... Are you getting that same... I don't smell as much peat on this one. Yeah. I don't... I'm not picking it up almost... No. I get a big caramel note. Super sweet on uh, the nose. Very, like, candy-like uh, sweetness. Again, I didn't expect this. I'm going to take a sip of water here, actually, before I start. Yeah, it's a good point. Um... I didn't expect it being, it's, I love barley, the 6.3, as opposed to Scottish barley, which was the 6.1. We said that, right? I think we did. Yes. Yeah. The 0.1's uh, Scottish, the 0.3 is Isla. So yeah, I get like, I get peaches. There's a big peach uh, sweetness to this. Just so good. Again, like like the first one, just layers, uh, layers of flavor coming at you. Yeah. Like I put my like when I dig my nose in the glass, I start to pick up a little bit of that smoky, something smoky and sweet. Like yeah. And um, I get a lot of earthiness with these ones. With this, with the point threes especially. Um, yeah. You I get like that earthy, but like that damp soil. Uh, Wet hay is another note that I get from these ones. Again, not stinging the nostrils at all. Uh, to steal Will Ferrell's line in Anchorman. 64% you would expect it to be. And I think this is more tame on the nose than the, than the uh, 6.1. Yeah. And this is also five years old, just to clarify. They're all four or five years old, so I won't repeat that for each one. But All four or five years old, yeah. So now this one, I would say there's definitely some wine influence on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still hot, like, you do get that, you know, bite on the tongue a little bit, but insanely sweet. I'm like shocked at how sweet it is. You get that mix of super sweet whiskey with that smokiness and the, a couple savory flavors in there, but mostly sweet. One note that I get from all of these is a, a floral kind of sweetness. Mm. It's like, it's hard to describe, but it's there. I'd like to compare this to something, but I, I 
I can't compare it to another Isla whiskey. Like it doesn't taste like an Isla whiskey to me. It's it's hard to compare it. Like yeah, there's nothing really quite like this. Um, even if you compare it to other Brooklady stuff, um, this is just completely different. Yeah. So, I think part of what we're tasting here too is that the fact that these barrels must be heavily charred. I could be wrong, but it's a fair assessment. I, I feel like for it to be that sweet, it's almost like bourbon sweet, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I do. I do pick up like corn notes from this as well. And again, the finish just lasts almost forever. I mean, it's it's so good. Have you ever had peak flashbacks before? Yeah, I like have. The next day, you're just like sitting at work and you just taste peat and you're like, this is the greatest thing ever. I have. It's funny, I know exactly what you're talking I about. I've never so heard that terminology before. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till 12 hours from now. You'll get it. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. That's outstanding. Wow. There's just more coming out now, like, that earthiness, like I said, I picking up mushrooms. Um, again, that like hickory, kind of like hickory smoke. Yeah, like I this one I get a ton of, just like burnt barbecue. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like charred steak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 big time. Or like even like you said, I think you said ribs earlier for the last one. Yeah, but like. That sweetness, like that, you would get from a really sweet barbecue sauce on ribs, that's and then exactly charred. It. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's why I love scotch, just because like, how does that flavor come out of water and yeah. yeast and malted barley? It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. That's phenomenal. Okay, so as I do with most of my tastings, I don't mark these, but I feel like. My first impression of these, I, I don't want to mark them, but they would be definitely among the best I've had ever. <laughs> so far. I mean, maybe if I sat with the bottle for a long period of time, I might change my mind, but those are phenomenal. So on to the um, 7.1 now. This one is bottled at 59.5% and, and the PPM level is 208. 208. So this is between the first two. So the first yeah. one was 168, I think you said? 167. 167. The second one was in the mid two? 258. Yeah, 258. And then so this yeah, one is just a over two. So yeah, kind of right in the middle. All three of these have a drastically different nose. I don't know how they do this. Like it boggles my mind. Well, even compared from the seven point one and the six point one, it's it's the same Scottish barley, but yeah. it's a very different nose. It's a different whiskey. It's a comp completely different whiskey. Both are five years old. Both have you know a same looking bottle, but if you picked up both thinking one was the other, you'd be drastic. It would be a drastic change. Yeah. I'm just trying to see if there's any differences. The, the only difference in the bottle is one says Scottish barley, or maybe it does if you spin it around. Yeah, I guess the only difference is says Scottish barley on the side. This is addition. Addition 7.1 on the side, but 59.5% uh, alcohol on this one. I feel like this one's less smoky than the other, both of them, the other two. Yeah, it seems like the peat level on the nose is definitely, um, definitely less but I still get that sweetness and the, the floral floral sweetness it's like I don't know sweet flowers I don't yeah. know if that's a thing but that's what it smells like yeah and you get a little bit they get the citrus again the lemon yeah almost to like an orange almost I feel like there's like sure. I feel like this is almost like what a Macallan would smell like if it was peated Really good on the palate. 
I don't swear on my channel, but I wish <laughs> I could right now because these are good, man. So good. Um, more pepper, more a little bit of barbecue again on this one. What's shocking is that you don't need water for any of these to enjoy them. Like they're high alcohol percentage on each one, and to the point where like my body is feeling it, like. My tongue feels the burn, like my eyes are watering a little bit, but it's so sweet and so flavorful that like I almost feel like it's a shame to add any water to this. And I've tried all these uh, with water and it doesn't seem to improve it, in my opinion. So um, I like them all meat. Yeah, there's something different each time. Uh, it's crazy. You do notes on these whiskeys, and I'm trying them again, and like well, it's stuff I haven't picked up on before. Yeah. This is my first time with all three of these, and like I almost feel like it's a shame. I almost feel like I'm doing this whiskey a disservice because it's so good. Just really good. Again, long finish, powerful bolt. They seem to get sweeter with every addition. So the first, the 6.1 was sweet. If I had to give it a level of sweetness between one and five, I'd probably say it was like a 2.5. The 6.3 was maybe a 3.5, and this one's like approaching a four. Like I feel like this, maybe not. Okay, maybe that's like a three, and then this is like a 3.5. Just the range of flavors you're getting from these is it's just it's crazy. It's like it's like no other whiskey really. Um, from one end of the spectrum to the other, as far as like different flavors. I get mostly like caramel, vanilla. I don't know what what are some of the flavors that, other than that that you're picking up on that one. On the seven point one. Yeah. I got a little uh, tobacco, like cigarette tobacco on the palate. Like with that one. More pepper again as well. Like a fresh tobacco, like not necessarily a burnt tobacco. Like yeah, straight like unlit cigarette tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the last one, the seven point three. This one's bottled at 63%, and the PPM level is 169. Okay, so this nose is my favorite of the four. Is it? It's incredible. I'm picking up more like fresh sea air salt. Yeah. Like salted caramel. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a good one. Exactly what I smell. Yeah. And then like um, you get the more the earthy tones with this one too. Yeah. The grass. Um, hay. Yeah, like a sweet hay. Yeah. Just again, just like like the previous ones, just layers upon layers of flavor coming at you. So I haven't tasted this one yet, but okay, I'll say what I'm about to say after I taste it. So on the palate, I get that charred steak taste big time out of this. Um, give those earthy tones again. What's the percentage of this one? 63%. So the Isla Barley are... They're about a little higher strength. A little 60, higher. 64, 63. Yeah, and then the... Scottish barley are 57, the, 59. Yeah. So high 50s, mid almost 60s for the Isla barley. Yeah, it's really good. I wonder if there's, because, so casks are selected in various ways. Um, a five year old cask with the same whiskey inside, two casks side by side, can what one could be. You know, sixty percent. The other one could be fifty-five percent, depending on, you know, just variations in the barrel. I wonder what 
the reasoning is for the I Love Barley being the higher alcohol percentage, if that has something to do with the chemistry of the I Love Barley as opposed to the Scottish Barley, I don't, I don't know. I don't I'm have just, the answer for that, but... Yeah, I'm speculating. I, I, I'm. This is more... If you guys know, please add in the comments below. This one's so sweet on the nose. All, all four of these are super sweet. I know you guys are probably tired of me hearing or me saying that, but. I'll just talk a little bit more about Whiskey Society. Mm -hmm. um, will you try that? Um, not only are we doing just, uh, you know, meet and greet kind of tastings, but Whiskey Society puts on a lot of really good events. Um, they posted about 12 events um, with brand ambassadors coming in from uh, the US, Canada, Scotland, and doing really formal uh, tastings. Um, the most the recently one, the most recently I was at one put on by uh, Old Pulteney, and the uh, the brand ambassador uh, came in and brought some really good whiskeys with them under the Old Pulteney umbrella, which included uh, some Balbalairs that were really really nice. Um, but what stood out uh, for me in that tasting was a 27 year old uh, Old Pulteney he brought from the distillery, just a sample. It's an unreleased whiskey. Um, I think he just essentially took it from their lab, their mixing area, their tasting room. Um, That's cool. And it was a 27 year old, aged in sherry, uh, ex bourbon, and uh, ex peated cask from the Freud. Just really good stuff That's and something cool. that was kind of special that uh, the general public, you know, hasn't had a chance to try and may not have a chance to try. So, yeah. So if you're watching this and you're from Toronto, Check out Toronto Whiskey Society. Um, what's the exact website? Yeah, it's torontowhiskeysociety.ca. Um, you can check out every um, everyone posts the reviews there. I post my reviews there. So uh, yeah, check it out. There's a huge archive of really good, uh, really good whiskey reviews there by some pretty knowledgeable people, more knowledgeable than myself. So I'm gonna post uh, Jeremy's exact review on all. F Four. You did. You've done I did. I did a review with all four of these. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Super cool reviews. He's very detailed. He he's done some really cool ones about like McAllen. Um, all three of the different twelve-year-olds. That one's a really cool one. You guys want to check out? But definitely, I'll post this one on the description below. Um, how would you rank these? I don't want to give too much away because I want you guys to go check out the. Yeah, check out my review for all my scores and yeah. uh, my detailed tasting notes. But. Um, to me, the 6.3 stands out. I think that the combination of the sweetness and those earthy notes uh, just work so well together. Um, all four of these got really high marks, um, but the 6.3 kind of just gets it there a little bit more than the rest. Yeah, I um, I really like the 6.3. I think if you guys are heavily like are heavy peat seekers. 6.3 is for you because it's definitely, in my opinion, actually was the, was it the 6.1 that we felt like was on the nose the most peated? Yes. It was a 6.1. Yeah. Sorry. So then the 6.1 is definitely the most peated, in my opinion, on the nose. Um, the sweetest I felt was the 7.1, I think. Sure. Or was it this one? <laughs> I think we went like more sweet, more sweet, and then... I thought this one was more sweet. I don't know. I don't know. This they one, all have this underlying sweetness that is just like really, really nice. You can't go wrong with any of these bottles. No. So if there's one of them in your area, I would just pick it up. Yeah, it's it's definitely a buy in my opinion. I'm going to be seeking out the best possible price on each one of these so I can have them um, and hopefully give you guys a proper review of each. But I, don't, I can't even say which one I like the most just because they're all really, really good. Yeah. Okay, and it, it, if I had to mark them, they would all be A to A plus range for sure. I don't know, I can't say that off of one dram, so I won't, I won't mark them, but um, in my opinion, they're, they're definite buys. So I'm gonna say if I had to pick a favorite right now, I think it was the 7.1, but I could be, they're all pretty high in alcohol percentage, so. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna say six, the 7.1, all right? And you said it was the 6.3? 6.3 for me is, is uh, my, I mean, it's just, just slightly above, but yeah, yeah. 6.3. All right, guys, that's about it. Um, you guys can check out Jeremy's 
review below. I'll, I'll add it in the description, like I said already, and uh, hopefully I can get a link to it. I'm still working with all the editing of videos and stuff like that. I'm pretty horrible at it. I'll show him how to do it. It's easy. There you go. So uh, we'll put a link to it on the video, and then you guys can just click away. Okay. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. All right, just type in whiskey in the six, you'll find it. All right, and also make sure you check out whiskey. Sorry, Toronto whiskey. Toronto whiskey society. Ca. Links Cheers. in the description. <laughs> Cheers, guys.